All right, guys, welcome to another video here. In this video here, I want to talk about Solidity and specifically the keywords of View and Pure. You'll notice I have three different functions here. The top function just returns a basic number here. We just have some computational information going on and we just return that number, all right? And I could even if I wanted to, I could say something like return. Why don't we do this here? Return, I don't know, 25 times 25, right? Same thing there. Now you'll see with this function from here, we have a little error. We're going to come back to that in a, in a second, okay? Now in this right here, we just have a declared number. Right here, we're going to get that number and return it. And then in the final function, we're actually going to change the state of the blockchain a little bit. We're going to change some information stored on the blockchain from here. So we see we have two errors from here, right? One and two here. If I go up to this top one right here, it's going to say, make sure I have the right one here. Yep, line eight here. It's going to say, warning, function state mutability can be restricted to pure. So what do I want to do here? What's this all about here? Well, a pure function from here. Well, let's take a back step. If you're ever thinking about deploying to the blockchain, if you're thinking about deploying a contract and storing information on the blockchain, you're going to incur some gas fees, right? And if you're ever interacting with that information, that's going to incur some gas fees too. So it's important to always save money, right? Everyone's always trying to save money. So if I just have it like this here, I can actually save some money and restrict it to just a pure function. So the keyword pure is going to go right here between the public and the returns here. And that way it gets rid of that error. So what do I do here? Well, notice that I'm not really getting any information from the blockchain, right? I'm just doing some computational information and then return that back from there. I'm essentially just getting some calculation and then returning that back to whatever it calls it. So let's go ahead and we'll forget about this one for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and deploy this one here. I can drop this down here and then we'll say get number here, get number. Boom, we get 625 back, which is 25 times 25, right? So that's working. That's good to go here. So what about a view? So we have a pure. Now this one from here, it tells me I can restrict the state mutability to a view. So I'm essentially just viewing some information on the blockchain from here. And again, this is going to allow me to save some gas fees when I deploy this contract and when I call this function from here, right? If I go down here, whoops, and I get rid of this old one, the old contract, I deploy the new one from there. Just like before here, I can get lucky number, which would return num1, which would be 8, get lucky number, 8 right there, all right? Now you might say, why not just call the, um, the public number from there? Well, sometimes the information isn't public. Sometimes I can't access this information. It's also worth noting here, if I say something like num1, what I'm saying, num1 times uh, num1 square, right? This can still be a view because I'm not changing anything stored in the blockchain from here. I'm just taking that information, I'm running some type of computational information, and then I'm returning it back to whatever called it, right? Same deal if I trash that, and then I deploy from there. Right, 8 times 8 equals 64, just like that there. Now, the final one here, I don't have pure and I don't have view because I'm actually changing some information stored on the blockchain, right? If I increase this number, uh, add number, and I add, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, and I get that number back, now this number is basically forever changed on the blockchain, right? So that's why I can't have a few or a pure on this one from here. But since these here, they can both have a view and a pure here because I'm not changing the blockchain, right? I'm just getting information. I'm either viewing information on the blockchain well, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just running the function that's stored in the blockchain, okay? So if that makes sense, be sure to let me know. I hope that helps you guys out a little bit here. Um, be sure to drop a comment down below, like, and subscribe. If you guys are really interested, I do offer some Udemy courses. Be sure to check them out, and I hope you guys have a great day.